If we make it, long story short, Daniel was thrown in prison because he wouldn't bow to the king of God, the variety. And they threw him in a den of life. Some folks say die in a den, but you read the Bible, it's a den of life. He could have been thrown in a lion's den, might not have happened to him. Because if a lion's den, sometimes don't have life. This is a church house. But tomorrow, in the end, there's a Monday morning church. But it was a lion that was in the lion. Old Daniel heard this was going to happen. And you know what he did? He threw his window open towards the east, towards Jerusalem. That's the only, that's the only God there was. The only place he could get him. He prayed towards his God, Jerusalem. The land from which he came. From the land which he was a captive from. And now he's in a land of captivity. But you know what? He didn't sit down and fret. Oh my no, why this happened to me? I'm the poorest little thing ever was. God, I just don't think it's fair that I'm over here. And the rest of the people right there yet. Yeah, and I'm the one who got captured. And Lord, I was smart. I was divine. And that's what got me in trouble. No, he just smiled and whistled and opened it. Went to towards Jerusalem. And you know what? When you get in real bad trouble, I mean depression or whatever. You can feel sorry for yourself for 25 years. And in the end of 25 years, you'll still be feeling sorry. In five minutes, you can pray to God and have faith. And you can go into the den of lions and know that you're going to come out on that. So he didn't know. But he's going to make a pillow out of that line. But he trusted God. But the thing about it was, he didn't want to put him down and fret. He just trusted him. Walking us down and fret doesn't do any good. Pray in this. So when you learn how to pray, there's no bad prayer when it comes from the heart. God and you might be praying like, God, I ain't done no good. God, I ain't got the power to overcome this. It may not be proper like English, but you know what? God knows all that he's told me. You might say, Lord, hit this foot right. I ain't going to make it. But Lord, I'm trusting in you. God hears that prayer. Somebody else might come back and say, what's up, baby, I told you that. Let me tell you, God understands right now. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then you might be one of those professors that knows words so long you couldn't fit in this building. And you got, and you're saved and know the Lord. God understands those too. You know why? Because he's one gift. Well, if you have a name this morning, you come, or you bring it to Jesus, no matter how long you've been by the no matter how it's trying to get you to Why don't you bring it to God let us anoint you this morning? If you don't know Jesus Christ this morning, why don't you come and let Jesus come in your life? And you'll have the greatest life you ever did. I mean, it's amazing how happy you'll be if you'll get Jesus. Understand? Would you come? <coughs>